These are American units, uh, unfortunately not the metric ones. Um, I'll try to translate as we go along and I'll try to uh, highlight the differences uh, between uh, what we plan uh, for what, what meant for Europe and, and, and the US. Uh, before we start though, I'll mention that the uh, uh, we will be, Tesla will be the first customer uh, for its own truck, for the truck. So we will use our own trucks to carry cargo in the US between our different facilities. Uh, we have an assembly factory in California, we have a battery factory in Nevada, so we'll use our truck to carry the things in between. And uh, uh, once things are good in the US, then we'll expand to Europe. Don't ask me for a specific timing, but we'll do it as soon as possible. Because I know some of you are very eager to get their truck here, and we'll do everything possible. So uh, I'll show you the presentation, this little picture of the truck. Uh, because it is a Tesla, what matters to us uh, first is the performance. So we have a, uh, uh, we, we want to have a truck which uh, has the best possible performance. So it means different things, um, but one of the uh, uh, important one is the acceleration. So here you have a little uh, comparison uh, between uh, uh, our, uh, our electric truck, and this is actual speed uh, to go from zero to 60 miles per hour. So I know that's 100 kilometers per hour. So I know trucks don't go that fast in Europe. So, but you can imagine uh, how quickly you can go at full load uh, from zero to 100 kilometers per hour. And uh, below is what the uh, diesel truck can achieve. So two things, the truck can go to speed faster so you can cover more kilometers in the same amount of time, but also it merges with traffic more smoothly. And this is quite important for safety. So you don't have a truck that takes a long time to get on the highway and you can uh, go faster. Uh, similarly, uh, you can go a quite steep grade at the same highway speed. Again, here I put 65 miles per hour. I know this is quite fast. It's a little over 100 kilometers per hour. That's legal in the US, uh, but we will limit it to what uh, the speed limit here uh, is. I know there's not much slope or big grades in the, uh, uh, the Netherlands, but in other parts of Europe there are, and uh, the truck will be able to go uh, um, without uh, having to slow down. Um, what, uh, in terms of range, uh, we're aiming for 800 kilometer range. Uh, that's, that's quite a lot. Um, the gross vehicle weight in the U.S. is 80,000 pounds, that's about 36 uh, metric tons. And uh, uh, the payload, I know there was a lot of question about what's the, the payload, what's the cargo capacity. But the target is to have the same cargo capacity. The, the Tesla truck should not have to carry uh, less cargo than the diesel one. Uh, so we, ex uh, we intend to have the same cargo capacity. And in the U.S. at least, 80% of the routes are less than 400 kilometers, which means you can go and come back without having to charge. Um, the aerodynamic is very, very special on this uh, vehicle, and you see the shape. It's a little bit like the bullet train, or maybe the TGV, uh, if you want to use that, or the Eurostar. Um, that uh, is a very aerodynamic uh, uh, vehicle, and I'll, I'll explain to you uh, how we achieved that. But it's uh, about half of what it is in the diesel truck. It's about this, and actually, it's it's quite interesting. The aerodynamics of a European truck and the diesel truck, and uh, and and the U.S. truck is about the same. But we try to achieve uh, half uh, the aerodynamic drag, and that's uh, even more aerodynamic than the Bugatti Chiron. So uh, it, it's it's pretty good. Uh, why is that important? Because if you're very aerodynamic size. 